How would you like to have an RFID microchip implanted underneath your skin? Or maybe an electronic tattoo that sticks to your arm or your wrist? Not only does it look badass and trendy, but it's also every bit as useful and complex as your smartphone. Now, I know it sounds like something futuristic or even something out of a science fiction movie, but guess what? The future is now. And not only does this technology already exist, but it's already being developed and implemented at a rapid and accelerated pace. As the technological elite finally begin to bridge the gap between our digital and physical identities. And he provides that no one will be able to buy or to sell except the one that has the mark, either the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for the number is that of a man, and his number is 666. So how close are we to actually having microchips implanted under our skin? Well, according to the NBC Nightly News with Brian Williams, we might be a lot closer than you think. More now of our special coverage here tonight, life in the U.S. in 10 years' time. The year is 2017. You're rushed to a hospital, unconscious with no ID or medical history, but thanks to a microchip under your skin, it's all there. Science fiction 20 years ago, but a biometric reality today. In medical news tonight, a chip the size of a grain of rice could save your life. I've just been chipped myself. Uh, it's not a painless process, but it doesn't last too long, not too difficult, minor surgical procedure. New microchip technology now makes it possible for the emergency room staff to find out about your medical history at the touch of a computer key. At some point, we're all going to have RFIDs. It might be even in our fingers, where they require it with everything on it. Instead of carrying credit cards or money, we will probably be implanted with chips. And now RFID microchips like this are being injected into humans. I'm sorry, sir, did you just say you, you would get one implanted in your arm? Absolutely, without a doubt. Our driver's license will be on the RFID chip. Our credit card number, all our information will be on this one chip. The chip is encased in unbreakable glass and is about the size of a grain of rice. The procedure is done with anesthesia and is relatively pain-free. It felt pretty scary, but at the same time it feel, felt very modern, very 2015. The government has just approved the use of a computer chip that would be implanted under your skin. When complete, everyone will have a unique 12-digit identity number. If hospitals purchase this detection equipment, the system will most likely start to include more and more people in those communities who will want the chips. Wow. Interesting Everybody stuff. could have one of those one day. Does Google now know everything I do and everywhere I go? Because, let's face it, Here, we, we like just... you guys, but you're from Google. It may be true that 10 to 20 year olds don't want to wear a watch on their wrist, but you can be sure that they'll be far more interested in wearing an electronic tattoo if only to piss off their parents. Forget mobile phones, your children and grandchildren may well want an implant instead. You know, when we check out at the grocery store, we'll be swiping our own arm over the scanner. And that will be something we feel we can't live without. It will be such a disadvantage to not have the implant that it essentially becomes not optional. Let's imagine a little bit what the future might look like if I could take your stem cells and put them on a chip, or your stem cells and put them on a chip. It would be a personalized chip just for you. It turns over, but it doesn't start. But the RFID reader antenna is here. So when I authenticate, the bike powers up. That's it. Imagine if some of these machines could be made so thin, light, and portable, that they could be attached right to the surface of your skin and go wherever you go there's some very sophisticated device functionality sitting on my skin. Welcome to the future, specifically 
the checkpoint of the future. It is envisaged that the passenger will be able to flow through the security checkpoint without interruption. This is what IATA, which is the airline industry trade body, is hoping will become commonplace around the world. A sort of one-stop shop for security from the curb to the gate, as they say, with dignity. Can a microscopic tag be implanted in a person's body to track his every movement. There's actual discussion about that. You will rule on that. Mark my words before your tenure is over. Mark my words, huh? More like the mark of the beast. Even though it is called a tattoo, there is no need to pierce or puncture the skin. Instead, the device sticks on. So what we can do then is we can take this device, laminate it on the skin. It occurs to me I've got them in my dogs. Why wouldn't I have them in small children too? There are also several products available to keep track of children. Many of them act as emergency cell phones and tracking devices, with some even able uh, to display on a map the places your child has visited. They told you we're giving you a nano tracker chip? Uh, yeah. To think something so small can connect you to everything that matters. Because I'm in love with my kids' kids because my car lost control while driving. Because now I'm looking out for both of us. Because I have diabetes, but it doesn't have me. Because I spend my life in the ER trying to save yours.